In 2010, the Vancouver Winter Olympics curling competition will happen here, Hillcrest Nat Bailey Stadium Park. Like all the other venues for the 21st Winter Games, this facility is designed and built to a gold lead standard. That's just part of the Vancouver Olympics' commitment to environmental responsibility, a key aspect that started with the city's bid for the Games. Another element of that environmental effort, enlisting the David Suzuki Foundation to study and report on all the ways the 2010 Olympics can reduce, offset, and eliminate carbon emissions. That effort produced this report, Meeting the Challenge, by Paul Lingle and Deborah Carlson. If Van Ock follows the recommendations set out in our report, the 2010 Winter Games could be the most friendly climate, uh, f climate friendly games in history. Our report, Meeting the Challenge, proposes a carbon neutral strategy for the games, and it recommends basically three steps, that Van Ock first measure the emissions of the games, that they then reduce the climate impact wherever they can, and then they finally balance whatever emissions remain with high quality carbon offsets. Because the carbon neutral strategy discussed in this report can easily be applied to other organizations, other businesses, and even individuals, we really do think there's an opportunity for Van Ock to use its high profile to inspire others to take similar action on climate change. So we're really pleased to present this report to Van Ock and we're really looking forward to hearing about the next steps and their plans to address the emissions from the games. By way of context here, it's important to um, recognize that we are not the first Olympic organizing committee for a Winter Games to put together a program to try and reduce the carbon impact of the games. Salt Lake and Torino both had, pro uh, had climate change programs. The Van Ock program will build on the experiences of Salt Lake and Torino and add a few new elements that are important to those of us who live in this part of the world. The Salt Lake and Torino programs, for example, only covered the 17 days of their Olympic Games, and we are looking for our program to cover a longer period of time than that, and also include other activities. For example, we intend to account for all of the energy used at our headquarters here in Vancouver since Van Ock started up in 2003. We're also going to be counting all of our fleet emissions since startup in 2003, and we're also going to uh, count all of the emissions from our executive travel since 2003. So we're already uh, moving on some of the recommendations in the report and Gordon Goodman, our Director of Climate Change, will have a few more examples for you. Our objective since the bid stage was to reduce, reduce, and reduce our emissions. A few examples are we had green planning construction practices have been part of our, our games from the outset. We have really been primarily focusing on these reductions through the planning and venue construction process. Now as we move into operating and staging the games, it's time for us to focus on those emissions that we can't reduce. And so it's early days for our, our climate program in terms of offsets, um, but our next stage is to develop this offset program. The program will include purchase of a portfolio of projects that offset the remaining emissions to help us move towards our bid commitment of reducing our climate impact. There'll be no increase to Van Ock's budget to deal with these offsets. We have some money in our sustainability budget for an offset program and we'll be looking to generate the additional revenue required to finance it. My name is Tom Ng and I'm the Hillcrest uh, project manager um, for Van Ock. Some of the highlights or features that we're uh, looking to deliver as part of this project is uh, uh, the fact that we are reusing the waste heat from the ice plant and we're channeling that to the pool facility. And um, we've got a building here where we've got an opportunity to use um, the waste heat from uh, the ice plant, uh, ice making facility, and redirecting it to the aquatic side, which we can use to heat domestic water, as well as um, the, um, the pool water itself. So that's a, it's a great opportunity to use and interchange the, um, um, and to redirect the heat um, to, to the, to where it's used in a positive fashion. Um, on, a, on a typical ice plant, um, the um, heat is in fact wasted to atmosphere, but in this particular instance, what we're doing is we're putting it through a heat exchanger and then it gets used um, in the um, domestic hot water and the, um, the uh, pool water uh, for heating. So we saw an opportunity to use groundwater um, and use it for um, toilet flushing. So what we're doing as part of this uh, project is uh, collecting the groundwater um, and putting it in into a reservoir on site and using it for um, toilet flushing uh, for the building. In, in effect, what we're targeting is a, 
uh, net zero green space loss situation.